First of all, for yeah, you know, for the rank and file, you know, the deck plate level here in Hampton Roads, I know that you know Admiral Greenard came down here the other day and you know had an all hands with them to try to reassure them. What, what can you do to, to amplify upon that in terms of sailors and their wives uh, that may be concerned about you know what this is going to mean for them? Well, thanks. I appreciate this opportunity, uh, Mike. I think our main message to uh, our troops and their families is that the personnel counts remain untouched. Uh, the president was very clear about that uh, when he uh, spoke about sequestration and the threat of it. Uh, so our sailors and their families are still going to get their pay. They're still going to get their benefits and the health care that they need. Uh, that's going to stay uh, absolutely intact. That said, because some of the cuts that we're making and reductions and some of the, uh, the trimming we're going to have to do may affect training and readiness, uh, we have to all be prepared that over the long haul, uh, there may be some impacts in their ability to stay ready to do some of the things that we need them to do for the country. But their personnel accounts, they'll stay, they'll stay intact.